everybody in this video this week I'm going to talk about lambda functions and I'm going to first go through lambda functions in general use and then what I'm really interested in is how to apply lambda functions in a data frame so I'll be going through that as well so firstly let's uh, talk about lambda functions what they are and how they can really kind of if you're using one-off functions they can really shorten up your code so here's a normal function and we're implementing a square so we're going to do a definition squared num which is my parameter and that's going to return um, num which is to the power of two and then we're going to print that out into the console um, and it prints out the square of this so essentially I'm defining a function and then I'm printing the, the function by four to do this in a lambda function, what we need to do is we can set a lambda function to a, a variable. So I'm going to call this square. So square equals lambda x, x to the power of 2. And what this does is this returns anything from my x squared. So for this one, we're just going to go square 4. And we run this, and we get exactly the same outputs. So this one is returning with kind of three lines of code here. It's returning the square 16. This one considerably less lines of code uh, returning the square 16. And if I wanted to shorten this up more, I can just take the square out of it completely and just change this into a, I think it's an immediately executed function. This is lambda x, same thing, and we put in our parameter. And again, we get 16. So when you look at this here, and you look at this here, and remember, you can pass in a variable here. So if you're defining, if you're returning a square and you're defining this somewhere else, um, and you're only going to use the function once, this is like a much less code intensive line than these three here. So that's firstly, this is just using. Um, Lambda expressions versus regular functions. This is lambda versus an if statement. So we're having a uh, variable here, which is five, and we're going to put this into an if statement. So if num is greater than four, then I'm printing greater, else print less. That's the way to do it in a normal way, an if and else statement. For lambda, I do a lambda x semicolon greater if x greater than four, else less and I'm putting just my num here so I'm immediately executing this by doing the brackets here and here and this comes out with the exact same functionality so that's just a very quick introduction into lambda functions there's a lot of lambda functions and um, documentation out there where you'll be able to see um, this in in greater detail in programming but I'm interested in data frames so I'm going to create a Data, I'm going to import pandas first. I'm going to create a data frame here of a name, age, income, and married. And this is kind of like a loan acceptance data set or something like that, right? We can put in some some more variables here, but I just want to use this because it was something else I was working on. I just copied and pasted in. I just want to use this in, as an example. So I've got a data set in here. And what I can do here is I can use a lambda function to quickly um, apply a binning on my data set so I've got my income here but I want to categorize this into a bin and I can do a df lambda cat so I'm creating a new column here and I'm using df income dot apply so you can either apply something to the whole data set or just uh, individual columns so I'm using income here so from income I'm applying a lambda function and then that becomes x so every income essentially becomes x because I'm applying this uh, to the whole to the whole set to make a new uh, variable which is my bin and so I'm going df income dot apply lambda x and then like we did up above and I'm, what I'm going to do here is use a nested if statement to do this so you can't use an elif but what you can do is in the else you can nest another if statement so we have lambda x is high income if the if the income is over thirty thousand else and we're nesting in an if statement here medium income if uh, x which is income 
is greater than 7,500, else low income. So let's see what that looks like before and after. So I've got my data set here, and then I've got my data set where I put this Lambda Cat in, and these are all categorized. So I've got my high incomes, I've got my medium income, and I've got my low income. So the next thing is advanced filtering. So Lambda expressions can do things that just the normal box standard filtering can't. So this is, you know, I just wanted to demonstrate normal filtering within a, a data frame. So I'm taking my DF and then I'm filtering that based on two uh, different filters. So it's where age is greater than 20. So obviously Tony's going to be out of this one. And then when income multiplied by 3.5 is greater than 100,000. So probably taking this one out as well. So I'm just going to run that. And now I've got three points left. So we've got Mary and Tony out and it's only really my high incomes in there. But if I want to do, and this is, this is an example that's probably not relevant to this data set, but I'm just using this as an example to show you like something uh, with text and I'm doing another function and I want to see, um, I want to filter out for the length of names that are uh, greater than three. So what names greater than three in this data set and I tried to do it here and it doesn't let me because there is limitations to what you can filter out by just using the normal data frame methods. But those limitations do not um, do not occur when you use the lambda function because what the lambda function does is it's taking a an x variable here. It doesn't really care about you know if it's df name and I'm trying to do a function outside. Like you can do functions outside and it will still filter. So with this one again, I'm following the same kind of uh, flow here. So I'm taking these two and I want to add this functionality onto it as well. So it's names that are greater than three. So it should filter out some of these uh, names in here because this name and this name isn't greater than three. So it should just leave us with Paul here. And I'm using the same kind of functionality. So I'm doing DF and inside the DF, DF.apply, Lambda. And then I'm putting in three filter categories here. So again, I've got my age greater than 20 and I've got my income multiplied by 3.5 is greater than 100,000. And instead of using df column.apply, I'm using df.apply. So what this will do is it will make every single uh, variable within df, every single column within df available for the filter. So I'm doing age greater than 20. I'm doing income multiplied by 3.5 greater than 100,000 and I'm doing length of name greater or this I've actually flipped it in this one and um, so it's greater or equal to three so and then I have to do this in axis equals one which is my column access and then I've just put in the last one here just for and um, age is the age is less than age dot mean it's going to run this and the only one left is Sam. So this one filtered out Paul. And then the mean age was the mean age was um, less than Tim's 45. So we only have Sam in this data set. So you can see quickly, you can put in lots of different filters based on all the different columns in your data set. And you can put in functions and all that sort of stuff. So it's a lot more flexible um, than your normal filtering up here, which would have failed on just one of our requirements so the last thing you're going to do is show you how you can quickly change the case of certain columns with a lambda apply again so it's just this is super flexible you can use any functions you want essentially what i'm doing here is i'm changing the column and um, to uppercase i'm changing the column to lowercase so df.name.apply so it applies to the name column and uh, lambda x which is the value of the name column then it it applies X dot upper, so it applies that function in there. So what this will do is it'll take my name and change it to uppercase. And I can do if I want to put this into the into the frame itself, I can just do df dot name equals. Um, well, I'm just leaving it out here just to show you the series. Um, and then df name dot apply lambda lower. 
it's all the names in lowercase then. So this is just a couple of functions and, 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 and various data frame operations with a Lambda function. This thing's super powerful. Lots of different things we can do here and I probably will do a more advanced um, session um, in upcoming, but this was just kind of an introduction to Lambda. Play around with yourself, uh, see what you come up with. If you have any questions, please ask down below and I'll see you very soon for another Python tutorial.